there was a local family of notorious reputation. Those who lived along the Perkyoman feared them. Those who traveled through paid the price for their ignorance. The family owned a tavern along the skipback road. Many weary travelers would stop for the night, only never to be seen or heard from again. One such traveler stopped on his way to purchase cattle. Both he and his horse disappeared. Years later, it was discovered they had been tossed into a well, and the well was filled in. Another weary traveler and his horse are believed to have met the same fate, only he was a local man and his disappearance was noticed, but the tavern's owner's involvement could never be proven. The local man rode a white horse, and for many decades after, claims were made of a mysterious appearance of a headless rider on a white horse around the ruins of the tavern. Peddlers were common patrons of taverns, as theirs was a nomadic lifestyle. Many peddlers found this tavern to be their permanent last stop. Their packs and wares were stolen by the family, and victims were disposed of. Years later, a cart was used to remove many bones from the nearby cave. Once, a reputable couple were on their way home from a society meeting. As their carriage approached the tavern ruins, they reported a calf emerged and approached the wagon, staying close to the carriage for a short way. They were fearful when they realized the calf had no head. Two young men were traveling along the road at night, and as they approached the ruins of the tavern, they say they stopped to pick some pears from a tree that now grew on the site. When they returned to their wagon, ready to empty the pears they had picked, they discovered the pears were all gone. They hurried away only to discover later that the well where the victims had been hidden was nearby. It was not uncommon for farms to have family burial grounds on the property. Many locals have retold the centuries-old story of one such place associated with Pennypacker Mills. They came with a warning that the eyes will be torn out of him who plows over my grave. Many farmers refused to plow that particular spot. It was said to be a large square plot consisting of a dozen graves using native stones as markers. It was protected by four large trees. Over time, as the stones faded and sank into the ground, each generation of farmers plowed closer and closer to the graves until, one season, they were finally plowed over. The first time this happened, the team of horses immediately ran off without explanation. A belief in witches continued around the Perkyomenville area long after the trials of Salem, Massachusetts. An elderly local woman was regarded as a witch with many stories surrounding her. One account accuses her of stealing cream from milk, and when the farmer's wife caught the witch by the tail, it came off, and it left behind an apron that belonged to the elderly woman. The woman had been married twice and was accused of bewitching her second husband, as well as many in the village, one of whom became ill and died. Nails were commonly seen in doorways as a means to ward off the witches. These are just some of the many tales surrounding the area. So the next time you take a walk along the Perkyoman, keep a lookout. Maybe someone from the past will pay a visit. <laughs>